Hi, I'm Dave McIntosh, and I enjoy spending time in nature. Come with me as I take you on another one of my adventures. In this adventure, we are going to enjoy an absolutely amazing time with the Atlantic puffins near Elston, Newfoundland. Puffins are a clown-looking seabird and are often referred to as the clowns of the sea. They make their nests on cliffs by the ocean, and we got to spend a few hours with some on a beautiful day in August. If you enjoy my videos, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. We were up early to go spend some time with the puffins and headed down the road from our overnight. When we got to our destination, we got out of the camper and we only had a fairly short walk to the viewing point. We walked past some old cellars or dugouts where they used to store vegetables and produce over the winter, and then across a narrow bridge out to the point of this jut out. And before we were even there, we were already seeing some. We weren't the first ones there though, but there were only two other people. And in fact, we didn't see anyone else for an hour or more, and there were never many. We found ourselves a place to sit on a rock and were shocked by how friendly the puffins were. The Atlantic puffin is the official bird of Newfoundland and Labrador, but they can be found across the North Atlantic from Canada to Europe. There were several along the edge of the cliff, only a few feet from our toes, but across the water just a bit was a rocky island with hundreds resting and nesting over there. The ones that were close to us came to only a couple of feet from our toes as we sat quietly and enjoyed their presence. Some were collecting grass and stuff for their nests. Others were going down to the water to catch some fish, while others, I think, were debating the politics of the area. It was hard to understand their Newfoundland accent. They were hopping around back and forth, very active little birds, and kept us entertained for a long time. As you can see, the puffins are stocky with short wings and are very colorful, though after breeding season, they lose some of their color. Their wings are short, which makes them good for swimming or flying underwater. Their bills are large, with which they can catch, hold, and bring back to their young several small fish at the same time. Their young are called pufflings. In the winter, they spend their time far away from shore, out in the middle of the ocean, and only come to shore during breeding season. We had an amazing time watching them. They were flying along looking for food or resting floating on the water. They were also in the crags of the rock building their nests and carrying on their daily lives undisturbed by our presence. But we were trying hard not to disturb them. We could have stayed there all day, enjoying their presence, but after a couple of hours, we got up and left them with some other people that had come to enjoy them too. God's creatures really are amazing to enjoy. Come back next time for another one of my adventures.